going on guys welcome to another video where i have about seven different small business grants that are available um, oftentimes again these do include sole proprietorships people who are independent contractors uh, uh self-employed individuals so definitely keep that in mind when you come across my videos specifically or even publicly wherever but when it says small business grants if you are self-employed you may be someone who qualifies for those programs um, and so, you know, with this video, we're going to check out this um, GoFundMe small business relief initiative where they're going to match $500. We have a small business grant um, out in Mount Sterling, Kentucky. Um, we have uh, Noblesville that has some uh, small business grants, Lithonia in Georgia that has some uh, assistant programs. We have $5,000 grants out in um, San Los Obispo. I think I'm saying that right out in California. We have some uh, small business uh, uh, forgivable loans, which again is basically free money, free business money, which is, you know, grants basically um, up in uh, North Las Vegas. So yeah, not quite Las Vegas. I know one of you guys had said Las Vegas. I looked, couldn't find anything for Las Vegas specifically, but we got North Las Vegas. We got one for uh, Louisville. And then we got a um, small business uh, loan out in Hamilton, Ohio. Again, when you guys let me know what town, what city, what county you are in, I will try to, you know, do what I can to find the programs that are, you know, made specifically for your neck of the woods, similar to a lot of the programs that I've covered here. But I do also try to touch on the national programs that are available for everyone, like what you see here from GoFundMe. This is the Small Business Relief Initiative and Fund in which um, essentially it's a little unique. It's not, you know, exactly the same as every other program, but in terms of how this works, it says the small businesses that have been negatively impacted by the coronavirus crisis can sign up on GoFundMe to start a fundraiser to benefit their small business. Local community members are able to search small business relief fundraisers on GoFundMe to find favorite small businesses they'd like to support. If a small business raises $500 on their GoFundMe and meets eligibility criteria listed below, they may be considered to receive a $500 matching grant from the Small Business Relief Fund. Now, you know, I figured I'd start with this because it is available nationwide. Um, you do have to, you know, put a little time into it. It's a little unique, not the same as a lot of other programs. Um, but again, they'll match you, match $500, which, hey, every dollar counts, every dollar helps. Um, so I wanted to see uh, why you wouldn't want to uh, try to get some of that money. Next up, we have Mount Sterling, which is providing grants for small businesses. And again, this is Mount Sterling in Kentucky. I know there's another one um, uh, that I initially thought it was, but it isn't. Um, it says the city wishes to pledge additional support by offering business relief grants of up to $1,000 for small businesses to aid in the recovery of their operations. And if you come down here, it says application for funds must be completed and submitted to the city of Mount Sterling uh, by the close of business on 4 p.m. on January 5th. So you got a little time to uh, to get your name in the, the, the ring for this one. Again, it's $1,000 for small businesses. Then we have uh, Noblesville, which I believe was, I had to look it up, Indiana. Um, and uh, it says uh, Nobles, Noblesville Mayor announces second round of small business grants. And in this particular one, it's the Noblesville Small Business Resilience Grant Program. You can get up to $10,000 per grant will be provided to small businesses that have been significantly impacted. Um, but if we look over here, <clears throat> some of you guys may have gotten money from the first round. And it says uh, right here, if a business received funding in the first round in early 2020, it is eligible for up to $5,000 in the second phase of grant funding. New businesses within their first year of operation also are eligible uh, for up to $5,000 in grant funding. Now, that's really important to note and good news for you guys out there who just started a new business and also encouraging for other people in other parts of the state, <clears throat> excuse me, other people in other parts of the state and country who have reached out and asked me about you know, maybe the EIDL or maybe the Paycheck Protection Program. And you had a particular question around, uh, will you be able to apply and get money? Will you get approved if you have a new business within your first year? And oftentimes that's not the case, but with this particular program, it does say new businesses within their first year of operation also are eligible for up to $5,000 in grant funding. 
Lastly here, really quickly, businesses must submit application by 5 p.m. on January 8th. Uh, and then they have, you know, additional information about uh, requirements and eligibility. So definitely great news for uh, my people out there in Noblesville, Indiana, that need some assistance. They got some money there. And uh, shoot your shot if you are, are someone who needs some help and uh, want to get some of that. So next up, we have uh, Lithuania in uh, Georgia, which is providing financial assistance to residents and small businesses. And as you can see, since the, uh, the DeKalb, uh, the DeKalb, a DeKalb um, county uh, city budgeted $50,000 for small businesses grants, al uh, along with $35,000 for a rent, mortgage, and use, uh, utility assistant program for residents. Each small business grant can be up to $500, while residents can receive up to $1,000 of financial assistance. So not too shabby. Again, if you need help with your rent, and probably mortgage as well. Usually um, the uh, uh, financial assistance can kind of go towards either or. And, uh, and hey, $500 that can be um, uh, of uh, uh, assistance for your small business. Next up, we have the five uh, $5,000 grants available to small businesses in San Los Obispo. I think it's Obispo. Obispo? Obispo. Obispo. Um, and as you can see, it's the second round of grant funding from um, the uh, SLO or Slow City Small Business Relief Fund. The fund was created in August with $26,000 from the CARES Act and 52 businesses were each awarded $5,000. Um, now it says they've allocated another $500,000 for a second round of grant funding. And uh, it says, and will be allocated to local businesses with fewer than 50 employees in the form of 100 $5,000 grants applications will be accepted through 5 p.m. on Friday, January 8th, and grant recipients will be notified by January 31st. Next up, we have the Small Business Stabilization Program for Forgivable Loans in North Las Vegas. Again, I know one of you guys had reached out and said you're in Las Vegas. Couldn't find anything for Las Vegas, but I did come across this, which is in North Las Vegas. I guess this is the next best bet, right? Um, maybe you're on the cusp. Maybe you're on the line. That'd be nice. Um, and uh, this didn't give us any set number in terms of how much um, money they're actually, you know, giving specifically. It doesn't say if it's based on your income or anything like that. So I don't have too much information here that I can give you guys in terms of the actual program, how much money it is. But I do know it specifically says forgivable loans. And generally, when you get a forgivable loan, it allows you to have that, you know, money basically be, uh, uh, you know, taken care of where you don't have to pay it back assuming you spend it properly there's usually some requirements they'll say you know this forgivable loan has to go towards payroll towards utilities towards you know office expenses whatever it might be and uh, if you don't spend it on those things and you end up uh, spending it on some other things you'll have to pay the loan back but if you do spend it on those things that that bad boy is forgivable and that's like a grant so not too shabby for my people in north las vegas we're going to head over to louisville where it says they're going to be considering new small business grants. So it doesn't say it's been set in stone. But uh, as you can see, it says Louisville already has implemented two rounds of COVID-19 support grants, one in April and uh, one in September. Now it says a new grant program would allow businesses to receive uh, funds in January when other aid is not likely to uh, yet be available. The program would target businesses operating under strict capacity limits, such as gyms, bars, restaurants, barbershops, and nail salons. Economic development staffers have proposed another round of $5,000 in grants for these types of businesses. Um, so, hey, if you're in Louisville, look out for some additional money. It hasn't been set in stone yet, but as you can see, it sounds like they are making some progress. Um, and especially with the stimulus package just being signed. Um, and I've released, you know, a ton of different videos, I would say, over the past uh, two days, maybe three days that uh, definitely touch on and, and cover a lot of this latest news around the relief uh, package and support. So um, check those out if you haven't yet. We're going to finish this up over here in Hamilton, Ohio. Again, when you guys leave a comment letting me know what city, what state, what county you are in, that helps me to uh, you know know where my viewers are at, where my people are at who need some help. And, you know, it, it, it's more of a it's more encouraging and or uh you know, more of a push for me to try to focus on those areas instead of me just, you know, covering grants and loans for, you know, the random 
town in Alaska. And if, hey, if any of you guys are in Alaska, dope, definitely, uh, you know, respect for, for you watching. Um, but if you don't let me know that you're out there, I'm going to be less likely to cover it. But if I know that's where my viewers are at, then I'm definitely going to spend the time and energy trying to do so. And uh, we're going to finish things up with this micro loan program for my people out in Hamilton, Ohio. Uh, as you can see, it says a partnership with First Financial Bank offering low interest loans up to $10,000 to businesses within the city of Hamilton only. These loans are 2% above the prime interest rate and can be paid back over a four year period. Loans are based on personal credit score. This is a good option for a startup business, but must have a business plan. Business revenues are $500,000 or less and have 10 or less employees. So as you can see, they specifically are saying this is a good option for a startup business. So oftentimes I know a lot of you guys are like, hey, are you familiar with any startup programs? Well, here's one that does cover or encompass people that are also in that startup lane as well. Um, so, hey, a lot of money out there, my friends. The thing is, you're not going to get it if you don't apply, if you don't shoot your shot. And I get it. Some of you guys are like, well, you know, I'm self-employed and I'm just an independent contractor. or I just do. You're a small business. You're the employee and the business owner, but you are a small business. And, you know, unless they specifically say, you know, you need a storefront or, you know, more than one employee or excludes sole proprietorships and anything of the sort, unless it says those things, you basically probably have a chance to get some of that money if you apply. And of course, you know, you're, you're like a registered business or LLC or self-employed, or, you know, you have a DBA. If the county, if the city, if the state, if they know about you, your business, if they have your information anywhere, kind of, so to speak, then you probably are going to be okay to get some of this money. Now, of course, there's kind of, I can probably be more specific, but just want to throw it out there like that for the time being, because some of you guys continue to ask the same question. Well, I didn't, you know, report, I didn't pay taxes or I didn't, then you're probably not going to have a chance to get some of this money. However, there are occasions where it specifically says, hey, this is a good option for a startup business, as you can see right there, but that's not too often. So again, a lot of money out there, my friends, a lot of money. And I'm hoping to continue to find these grants, find these programs and share them with you guys so you guys can benefit from them. For those of you who are still just getting the ball rolling and haven't necessarily, you know, maybe you don't fit the, the eligibility criteria for some of these programs. Maybe you haven't registered with your city. Maybe you haven't, you know, you don't have a DBA or, you know, there's things that you can do to better position you to benefit and, and uh, to, to take advantage of these programs. And I'm hoping to release some more content over the coming weeks to help you guys with doing so. So if you can, I would definitely appreciate it. If you guys can like this video, give it a nice thumbs up. It does help me, shows me you guys appreciate the time and energy I put into these videos, but it also helps with the YouTube algorithm. So other people who are small business owners and self-employed will have a better chance to come across these videos. After that, if you haven't already liked this video, I mean, excuse me, subscribe to this channel hit that notification bell. I want you guys to be up to date when I release these videos. So if you are in a particular county, like uh, in Hamilton, Ohio, uh, hey, sometimes this doesn't look like they have, uh, it doesn't look like there's a, uh, a certain amount that they have or, you know, deadline, but there probably is a deadline or uh, I didn't see it here, but oftentimes you want to be among the first to apply. And, uh, you know, I try to be the first to release these, uh, uh, to share this information with you guys once I hear, hear about them. So again, if you subscribe and hit that notification bell, you will have a better chance to get some of this free small business money for your small business, for your uh, self-employed business. Um, you know, so yeah, I'm going to wrap it up there. I'll probably make another video today, uh, maybe, maybe two, but uh, definitely wanted to make sure you guys uh, we're familiar with all of these programs since a lot of you guys, uh, some of these are particular to some of your comments, you know, saying what town, what city, what county you're in, which is the last thing I like to kind of finish these up with. If you haven't already, let me know what town, what city, what county you are in so I can try to keep my eyes and ears open for any programs that are available for you in your neck of the woods. But of course, if not, that's fine because you do got those occasional national nationwide programs like the GoFundMe one that I shared at first. So there you guys have it. 
I got to keep it moving, but you already know. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.